Cryonite's non-poisonous properties make sanitation very easy. The carbon dioxide snow can be applied to almost every surface without any risk of damage or residue. Bedbugs are developing resistance against many poisons. Cryonite will always be effective. Hotel rooms can be used immediately after treatment, which means that the hotels can maximize their occupancy rates. Sanitation of sensitive areas in dry food industry can be done during ongoing production without contaminating the food products. Kitchens can also be treated while you live and eat there. Open the valve and release the safety stop. When the safety stop has been released, the snow stream can be adjusted. The deeper you press the lever, the more impact the snow stream will have. The cryonite gun is continuously adjustable in length and the nozzle can be bent in any direction wanted, in up to a 90 degrees angle. This gives good access to different places where the pests hide. In this sequence two snow streams are shown. One full speed and one with reduced speed. Even though the cooling effect may be reduced, a lower speed may sometimes be warranted. If you're concerned about blowing insects or dust away, use a lower speed. Always avoid layers of snow as the snow insulates and the freezing becomes less efficient. Bedbugs are wingless insects roughly oval in shape, flat and 5 to 6 mm, that is a fifth to a quarter of an inch long when fully grown. They are pale cream in the juvenile stages, become a rust brown as an adult and change to a deeper red brown following a blood meal. There are five juvenile stages known as nymphs, that are miniature versions of the adults in general appearance. Each nymphal stage requires at least one blood meal to molt to the next stage. The length of the life cycle is variable and is dependent on the temperature. For example, in cold conditions they can live for almost two years even without a blood meal, but in average temperatures of around 23 degrees Celsius, that is 74 degrees Fahrenheit, the life cycle takes approximately two months to complete and the adult can live for almost four to five months. All nymphal stages require blood for nutrition. They respond to the body warmth of a host and their mouth parts are especially adapted for piercing skin and sucking blood. Being nocturnal, this often happens at night. Then, during the day, they seek shelter in narrow, dark places to digest the blood. Cryonite has shown to be very effective against bedbugs. As the bedbugs are developing resistance to some poisons, cryonite will continue to be effective. Being a non-toxic treatment, cryonite also allows the room to be let immediately after treatment. It leaves no residues and can also be used as a preventive treatment. Bedbugs tend to shelter in dark locations and want to be as close as possible to their hosts, the inhabitants of the bed. That's why it's important to carry out a thorough inspection before treatment. Concentrate on cracks and crevices in bed frames, the bases of the beds, mattresses, especially the beading and seams, headboards, wall floor junctions, soft furnishings in the room and cupboards. The things to look out for are live adults, the crawling nymphs, the cast skins of the nymphs, egg clusters and also blood spotting on the mattress and bed linen where they have fed and left a blood deposit. Feces spotting is often visible and if there is a heavy infestation you will also notice a rather sickly smell in the room. Before you start treating a room, make sure that all bedding including sheets, duvets, pillows, blankets and mattress covers are stripped from the bed and washed and dried separately at high temperatures to avoid any cross-contamination. On the bottom of the bed frame you will often find bed bugs hiding between the hessian backing and the bed. Always treat all the way around. Extend the lens and flex the nozzle to get a better angle. It's very important to get behind the headboard. This one can't be removed, but as you can see cryonite penetrates well through the narrow crack between the headboard and the wall any bedbugs harboring in this area will be killed. Bedbugs can easily be treated in the area between carpet and wall. 
cryonite can be used behind flaking wallpaper without damaging the wall or wallpaper. There is a risk of transporting bedbugs too, as in this example a share. This share is easy to treat thanks to the hole in the hessian backing underneath. This gives a very good coverage. This first example shows work below a ventilation duct. It's vital to adjust the procedure to the target pests. In this case the pests are unknown but they are killed and dirt is removed at the same time. Here you can see how to get access under plates in a ceiling. Pests hiding between the plate and the frame are killed. and the otherwise time-consuming sanitation of a cable run is quickly done. It's also easy to disinfest parts of machinery. As you can see, the snow can travel quite a long distance through a pipe without melting. Pests are often found along the joint between wall and floor. The extendable gun makes it easy to work in any position. This sanitation is performed in a machinery that is sanitary sensitive as food is in direct contact with the surfaces. The non-poisonous carbon dioxide is replaceable here. To achieve the best results, don't build thick layers. Two thin layers are much more efficient than one thick. If the snow is built up in thick layers, the cooling effect is reduced because of the gas layer between the snow and its target. To illustrate how this works, you can here see water drops on a hot stove. The water drops don't boil away immediately as the heat transfer is reduced by the water vapor surrounding the drops. Gases are not good at conducting heat. Thin layers of snow, this is the right way to do it. If you want to get more information, please visit our website at www.cryonite.com.